In this video I'm going to look at the testing phase of the project. There are two elements to the testing stage. Um, one, you've got to create a test plan and the second half is to actually run your tests. Now if we look at the actual um, project guide, um, there's a section here for testing. You can write your test plans here, so test number, what you're testing, what's your method of testing and what's your expected outcome and then show the results. So test number one might be to test all your buttons are working on your navigation bar. Um, you should test each one individually. So test one really should be test the home button works. What's your method of testing? Well you just click on the button. The expected outcome is that the uh, when you click on the home page button the home page loads. And then test number two will be testing the second button and so forth. Then you should show evidence. So you'd say, right, test number one was testing the home button. So test number one, you'd write in here. And then you'd show a screenshot or write down what actually happened for that particular part of the project. Um, if there are any problems, let's say the home button doesn't work, you'd write in here, test number one, say what the problem was, say what you did to fix the error, and then say, uh, yes, the error was fixed. That's one template that you could use. Another template that you could use is this one. So you could have all of the tests written out here. So test number one, what are the test details? So what are you testing? What are you expecting to happen? What was the actual outcome? Did it need any further action? Basically, no if the test was fine, or yes, uh, or retest if the test failed. What did you do to correct the mistake? And what was the final outcome? A couple of important things to note. If you write a test plan and do not conduct the actual tests, you will not be awarded any marks for this section. Okay, So you must create the test plan and run the test to get marks. Um, you're going to want to probably test all of the buttons in your navigation bar, uh, at the very least. If you look at the mark scheme, that's kind of like what I'm saying you need to do to get a pass mark. Just testing all your buttons and hyperlinks. If you want to go for a merit, then you need to start showing a little bit more evidence, so showing things like um, your photo galleries are working, um, show that you're testing whilst you're making it and also at the end, that sort of thing. You might also test things like your videos and sound files. Um, and depending on the quality of your tests, then if you, if you really test pretty much everything that you can possibly test, then you're going to be looking at the distinction mark. Okay. Um, but yeah, those are the two ways of doing it. You could either do it like this, with by writing out your tests, uh, what are you testing for, home button, method of testing, uh, click on the button, um, that sort of thing, what's the expected outcome, or that you go to your home page. So you could do it like this, or you could use this sort of layout where you have all the tests um, detailed all in one row. What, what are you testing, what's the outcome, and did you need to fix it?